Hello and welcome to another unboxing. Here you can see a uh, StarTech.com um, HDMI uh, or component standalone capture device. Capture high definition video to a PC or to an SD card without a computer and stream live video over the internet in real time. Obviously this is just an unboxing, not a review of this product, but what I would like to say is um, this is something you can purchase online for around the £100 mark. Um, it's very possible if you have a look around you may be able to pick it up for £33 from a very special um, online retailer. Um, so, I'll, I'll put a link in the description of where you can get it from, um, but there, there may be a, a delay on obviously uh, delivery because there may be a backlog. Anyway, um, so basically it's like the Elgato that you guys on YouTube are using for capturing um, video game footage and uh, you know making commentaries on those videos, let, let's plays videos. Um, it's similar. Now there was a similar version to this on YouTube, um, but it was, must have been an older model because it didn't have the facility to input an SD card. So without a further ado, I'll open it up, we'll talk about the uh, device, uh, what comes with it and then uh, move on from there. So, without further ado, let's try and figure out how you open this box because sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge. There you go, that's the device in question. Quite small, I believe it's comparable in size to the Elgato. Um, but we'll come back to this device in a moment. Um, in the meantime, let's see what's in the box. So, we open up the box, which is quite a large box if I'm honest, for such a small device. Um, so, you get an instruction manual here. Um, obviously, it's going to have all the information you need on how to run this uh, machine. Uh, it does appear to run off USB 2.0, not USB 3, so keep that in mind. Um, but anyone with USB 2 should be fine. Um, I want to give you an in-depth review on this later on. This is just a basic unboxing, um, because there's no point in me doing, telling you about the ins and outs of it until I've had a look at it in more detail. So what else do we get? Well, we get a slip here. Um, it's quite handy that actually. A little slip here telling you where to go to up, um, purchase the uh, latest drivers for it and software. So that's handy. We get a standard USB cable for plugging it in. It's nice to see they've included um, a HDMI cable. Uh, a lot of these devices don't come with this, so it's a good thing it does come with one. Um, looking at it, it does appear to have possibly gold plated, but I can't really say without opening the package. So I will let you know on that at some point. Um, they may not be gold plated though. Um, and then we've got a CD, okay, which will be our software. Um, the downside to this particular model is the software is not PC, uh, sorry, not Mac compatible. So that is the downside for you guys with Macintosh computers. Um, I have an iMac myself and I would have loved this thing to have Mac capturing software, but it doesn't. Um, the software supply works on the PC and apparently the software is reasonably good um, but I, again I'll have to update you on that um, because this is just a basic unboxing so 
let's have a look at the device in question. Now it is quite small, as you can see. Um, so basically, you do have some phono slots for stereo in. So obviously you can connect some sort of microphone, but unfortunately you have to figure out how to connect that up through a phono jack. Um, maybe you can obtain some sort of adapter. Um, obviously you've got component in, which is pretty good if you've got the PS3. Because at the moment, as far as I'm aware, the PS3, um, you may not be able to record footage directly from it through HDMI, um, but you can do that through a component in. So you should be able to capture um, footage from your gaming on your PS3 or any other device that, that has encryption, because HDMI is digital, please remember that. Uh, so we've got HDMI in, we seem to have a, a button to turn it on and off at the top. Um, round the back, we've got an SD card slot, uh, and looks like an Ethernet sl slot as well, so you can stream live if you wish to, and HDMI out. On this corner, we have the USB connection. So obviously you can connect that to your PC. And underneath we've got four rubber feet, which is quite nice, so it won't move on your desk. So, why would you want to buy this, you might say, over the Elgato? Um, well, for one thing, it's a lot cheaper. Um, in terms of sellers in terms of people selling this um, there is a few people selling it for over a hundred pound however you may be able to find yourself um, an extremely good deal online I'll give you the link for that company and um, I believe I believe the price may still be 33 pound so it's definitely a good bargain if you can obtain it um, the advantage of this obviously is you don't need a computer to record footage you just stick an SD card in the back um, and you can record on the fly so even though the software isn't Mac compatible um, you can still do your recording on your SD card slot your SD card into your PC and or your Mac and um, import it to Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro um, and I just want to say guys if you're going to edit video use those programs um, and a lot of you guys out there are using those cheap um, software packages uh, the thing is if you want to produce quality um, you need some good photo editing and video editing software so I highly recommend Adobe Photoshop uh, Final Cut Pro, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, for those on a budget, you could look at Lightroom for photos. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. Um, I thought I'd just give you a close up look, see if the camera can uh, still focus on it. Um, and then you can have a look at what you've got on there basically. There you go, and you've got an SD slot there. So, I hope this little unboxing has been helpful. There is no unboxings of this on YouTube at present, so I'm pleased to be the first to bring it to you. Please subscribe if this is very helpful to you, and um, please um, keep tuned to my channel because I'm hoping that in the next couple of days or so I will have a chance to look at this um, practice on it um, do some projects and hopefully bring you a full review of it so thank you for watching and have a nice day um, just one last thing guys um, I just realized that I may not have told you what this particular model is um, it's quite strange that because the actual title of the machine 
may confuse a lot of people because there is an older version of this with the very same title and model number so you need to be really careful on what you're looking for um, basically the model is called a HDMI or component standalone capture device 1080p uh, the actual model description of the name is actually the part number is hash USB 2 HD CAPS that's basically USB 2 HD caps um, the older model incidentally is called the same thing apart from the fact it's not called HDMI or component standalone capture device 180p so when you are looking for this make sure you do look at the right one uh, you may come across one that doesn't have a, a circular button there that clicks um, that will be the older one uh, this is the new one that's recently been released and um, you can get yourself a bargain online alright thank you bye